lastly, to save the file, I will go to save or save as. So you could hit the icon right here, the fast select, or I believe S is for save. No, F is for scratch. It used to be save. Okay, so save or save, save VE. And go ahead and name it to whatever you would like. Okay, and then put it into your, well, this is basically garbage trash. <laughs> and put it into the, put it into your folder. Okay, and what I, what I would like you to do is to close your AutoCAD. Save changes. I'll say no because I didn't change anything. And then go ahead and start a new session of AutoCAD. Okay, so you should start your AutoCAD. AutoCAD's uh, 2016. And go ahead and do the settings. Open up the template and do the settings on there. And the limits you could put uh, 100 feet by 100 feet for the upper right hand corner. And so you should have been given this um, this document right here, which says lines and angles. What what we're going to do is to draw out. We don't have to do the hatch, but draw out uh, these shapes in these specified sizes. Okay. Now I will give you a hint that certain ones like this one, we could use a command such as polyline or line and actually input the actual uh, line length and all that using the absolute coordinate, I'm sorry, not absolute, relative coordinate, or we could go simply uh, type in the distance and then hit a direction or point to a direction and type in the distance, or you could use something like the rectangle command to do this thing, okay? Otherwise, you have other shapes that you can go ahead and input all of these numbers, or you could use something like offset commands to offset the distance and start trimming all of these shapes. This should be kind of a review since it's the similar process that we did to make the loft or the construction line for the loft. So if we have that, or if you remember how to do that, you should be able to do the same thing in this program, just one difficult part is to hunt and peck for the command or to type in the command, which again, it's basic. Lines, polylines, trim, erase, offset, basically the same commands that we used in Rhino. Okay, so why don't we go ahead, you could draw anywhere on this thing, but just remember these are in foot and inches. Some do have fractions of inches to it, so do be careful about that. Oh, that's what I forgot to do. Okay, this is the most important thing that I forgot to tell you, which, which I should have before. Okay, to input fractions of an inch. Okay, I'll do a line. Okay, so here I have a line. I could use the ortho or not use the ortho to get it into a straight line, or I could use the grid or O-snap 
I'm sorry, not OSAP, SNAP to um, get it to a to a point, right, in space. Okay. There are some lines that are in fraction of an inch. Um, to draw or to specify a fraction of an inch, we have to put it in this way. Okay, so I'm going to draw a line at, and this one is 4 foot 9 and 1 eighth. So we type in 4 foot 9 hyphen 1 eighth. And you can put the inch mark if you want or not. Okay. Usually on architectural drawing, it says uh, what you know, four foot hyphen nine and an eighth, right? But where you put it in AutoCAD is four foot and no hyphen there. There is a hyphen between the nine inch and the fraction of an inch. That hyphen is what separates the fraction of an inch to a whole inch. Okay, so. Um, to put in a fraction of an inch, that's the way you do it, okay? And with that, let's try, uh, let's try, let's try inputting all of these shapes into the, uh, the, the space there. Now, yeah, and then we'll go through it together later.